heard are from the all new pedal from Hermita Audio. It's a double Zen Drive. Now, I have never owned a normal Zen Drive. I have a Black Magic one, and it's magic, really, no pun intended. And this one is equally, if not more, my favorite than the other one. So, it is two sides that are changeable. So, as in changeable as in the way you stack. So they stack or run separately, and then this is the order. So, in the intro, you heard both sides together. together. Now, this side is a Zen Drive 1. Lower gain, very open. This I would use a lot to um, run a fuzz into, um, or by itself, for much lower gain sounds. Neck pickup. gain so if you max out the gain and turn everything to 12 o'clock on this side besides the gain <laughs> great amount of gain but that's all you'll get and that's honestly if you have an, if you have enough volume that's probably all the gain you'd need from it <laughs> I like it set where th these are about, I use this for low gain to stack into this side, which is what this switch does. So if it's this way, we're going this side into this side, and if it's this way, it's this side into this side. So some other sounds that are good for this, and I usually run it um, opposite of these. So each side is the same controls. So we have tone, voice, volume, gain, same thing on this side. The only thing that's different is the pedal inside themselves. Because the knobs are all the same. Um, and do similar things. So I usually run the the uh, voice down and tone up on this side. I like this sound. for that side. It's really dynamic and cleans up. So, noted before we go on, I'm running through a 76 Super Reverb. It's on about four and a half. So, this side, however, you can tell by the way it's set, is louder and has more gain. So, I usually run the voice here and the tone here. The voice brings out that mid range that everyone is familiar with with this pedal. 
such a vocal mid range. Uh, the that knob was was probably one of the most thought out controls on probably any pedal because you get this. You get this really great vocal mid range that's gonna sing. It's very revealing, but it's a great sound. So if everything's at half, so the volume is brought up, just for comparison, since we did it in the last one, I'm not gonna turn the gain all the way up because it's pretty, uh, yeah, it's a lot. So the volume up. So now you see it's a little less pushed in the mid range now that we've turned that voice down. Now it's not lacking mid range as you can hear, it's extremely clear, but I still prefer a little bit more gain and like that. So that's how I would set it with the voice out, tone rolled back. <laughs> Still cleans up beautifully. So, if you do the opposite, roll the volume up and kept those where they were. Obviously, with the gain down, you get less compression and you have the volume rolled up. Great. Now, you stack this same exact sound and stacked it. So, without. With. Now, switch the order of it. It's smoother set that way because this side's still higher gain than this side. And you're pushing this into this. And this is set, albeit darker, it'd be a weird word, but it's set darker. This pedal really, really, really connects with me. Sorry for the camera moving. Um, in any order. That's more of an open sound, set that way. But you can change that depending on how you set each pedal. So, if we run it... Uh, we run it the way I usually do. See that this is the difference. That's the way it sings best uh, for my ears and my rig and my guitar and everything. And I'm playing my Les Paul that you see in every demo I do. Um, it's Shelly, my gold top. So the guitars don't usually vary from demo to demo, and if I use a Strat, I usually have a different sort of thing going on. Okay. 
So, stacked like that, that's how I would love it, but you can also use them independently, which is great. This is really great for fuzzes, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that in another video, where if you have an amp that is too bright for a fuzz, or you want to level out the fuzz, compress it, if it's, most fuzzes are super loud, and I'm gonna use uh, Sean's other fuzzes to show you why. So. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next demo. Cheers, everybody.